We are with Faye and Stuart and they are making a really interesting seat for the garden which is going to be like a big lump of stone but actually it's not really a lump of stone so tell us what you've been doing uh, Faye and Stuart how is this stone created? So we've made effectively a frame with a chicken wire around it and we're using this wall crease to fill it in and, and create the shape of the, the stone. Brilliant, brilliant. And Faye's the designer of the garden. Uh, so Faye, you must be feeling really relaxed and confident about the whole Definitely. thing. <laughs> I've never been more chilled in my life. <laughs> brilliant. Well, this is looking good, and you've got you've got some uh, you've got some beams for the uh, uh, some sleepers rather yeah, to, yeah. that could so go over it. Here is the remains of an old lead mine. Yes. With the farmers covered with uh, sleepers to stop his sheep falling down. And then the idea is the stone goes on, stop, on top to stop the, the sleepers from moving. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. And uh, we've had a go at a bit of wall creep on the far side. There's some mixed uh, mixed panels, uh, but that's going to go. We're going to be we're going to slightly uh, work on that. That might get a little bit better on the actual uh, garden. Um, but uh, this is shaping up really nicely, and uh, we're going to have a look how the plants are doing as well. So here we can see the Bonsal Man. Faye has carved into the rock. And this is a little icon that you see in Bonsal Village on some of the old barns. Uh, doing a bit of fiberglass work. We're going to make a pond. Now we've got a template here. Okay, and Dan and Lucy are, what they're doing, they're putting a bit of release agent on the uh, template and we're going to fiberglass it and create a pool, which is going to be a dew pond, actually, that we're going to use in the show. Uh, so it's important we have this release agent so that the fiberglass is released from the mould. And we'll see how we get on. We've put a layer of fiberglass, and now we're going to just... I'm just putting another layer here. Just place that on. And this fiberglass you can use, you know, they use it for yachts and all sorts. So what I'm doing, using this sort of rib roller, just working around the outside. Now I'm just going to do the outside and then just pop a little bit in the middle just so we've got this bit covered. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of the, it's just going off a bit now, so I'm just going to pour a bit around that, around the outside. Okay, and I can either use a brush and strip it on or I can use this tool which is quite useful. It's going to be gunched up now. I'll just sort it out a minute. I'm just going to go around the outside just to sort of get that to kind of seal it a bit and soak in. Let's just get that soaking in a bit there. And that bit soaked in there. Just got to move it off in a little bit. And you can do two or three layers of this, you know, so it's kind of like... Pull that off there a bit, around there a bit more. You can make any shape, provided you've got the formwork. You can get it off the formwork. You can make any shape you want. So this is going to make a, a little pool. And obviously we'll have to seal it from the inside. I'm going to add the uh, resin to that a little bit later, the bit here in the middle, just getting that patch on. And then this, you really have to try and get rid of as many little pieces as you can. Here's the fiberglass pool. Uh, we had a bit of fun obviously knocking it out, but we're just scraping out the last bit and then we're going to add one more layer. Now it's out. And then we put what's called a flow coat around the inside to sort of seal it. Uh, it's got a little bit of grinding around the tops as well. And then we've made our little pool which we'll take to Gardener's World as a dew pond. So here's the group who are on the plant team and they are producing all kinds of plants for this year's show garden. You can see there's some lovely polygonatums in there and stachys and they're doing a bit of final tending. Well not final, we've got a bit of a few weeks to go. And some lovely herb robert there, geranium robertianum. And uh, I think we're going to use those in the wall, aren't we Sarah? Uh, yes, yes. So they're going to be really nice. Faye's just touching up these digitalis here, making sure they're all looking good. Just got to hope that they hold out for about another Seven weeks, six weeks, six weeks. Where's Chloe going? Chloe's just behind me. She's done the most fabulous uh, watercolour of the garden. I'm just going to show you that now. I'm going to put a picture up. 
So you can see on the picture, you've got the barn, the little field barn in the top right there with a little bit of a water trough. And just to the left, you can see the dew pond, which we were creating. And over to the right, you can see uh, a rock and a disused mine. And that was the rock that Faye and Stuart were making to go on top of that. So we'll have a little path going through it. And then, of course, we've got the wildflowers all around. Dry stone wall at the back. And there will be a little hedge either side. And that will make up this is garden. Very talented. And so uh, she's doing a bit of potting. So fantastic. So uh, it's really looking nice in here. Remember this year we're doing a garden which is quite natural. So it's not like heavy blousy colours. It's very subtle, quite green. It's a sort of field essentially in Bonsall in Derbyshire, but with a little bit of planting as well. So this is the wildflower turf area and Harridan turf have supplied us with some beautiful turf, this meadow mat is fab. And what we've done this year, we've put it into bread trays. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of carrying down, a lot of trips, but it really does look beautiful and natural. You can see we've got the ragged robin, but there's also a lot of oxide daisies which will come and take over. So uh, a little bit worried that the ragged robin will be uh, going over a bit, but there will be something to take its place. Just got to hope there is some there still, still in full flower for Gardener's World. Yeah, they are scrutinising the wildflowers, <laughs> studying, so <as> to speak. 